right, while we're heading over to a sewer odor detection call, clients reporting a sewer odor, especially in the far back of her house. She's hired a few other plumbers and uh, she can't seem to figure it out. Yeah, so when we roll up this uh, this morning, probably gonna start capping off the sewer waste system and then uh, begin the, the smoke machine. I think there's a suspect area in that back shower. Um, I'm not 100% sure that it was plumbed in right, so I'll see that. I'm gonna put a crawl suit on and go underneath the crawl space and see how they plumbed it in. The crew's about to roll up with our uh, UV non-toxic smoke. Let's see if we can solve this once and for all. So does it linger in this room or yes. does it more go towards the bathroom? It just, I just smell it here. You do? Okay. But it's, I think it's really coming from this bathroom. And when was the bathroom remodeled? About four years ago. Four years ago? Okay. And you've had other plumbers out and they've replaced, uh, the last time they, you said that they replaced the main, which yes. is a lot, a lot of impact inside the line? Yes. Okay. So we have a, uh, a lab there, a toilet, and then a shower. So I'm going to definitely do a little bit of investigating on this shower here. Can we get in the front crawl space here and maybe cut? Yeah. Do you see any lines here? There's a lot, there's a few lines there. Let me see. Put the light in there? Yeah, there's one. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, I see the guys left their... Uh... All right, let me get under there. Let's get the Tyvex. Does that light work? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to go under there and uh, take a look at what the sewer system look like. looks like, where I can go in and cap off, because we're going to want to cap off the main. Um, so that way all of our UV non-toxic doesn't smoke doesn't go up into the street because we want full concentration. Looks like uh, when the guys did some of their plumbing, I could see some of the waste pipes that they left uh, laying under the ground. That's not a good idea either because especially when you have that much compaction, uh, what happens is all that leftover sewer gases could also, um, you know, cross-contaminate into the indoor. So anytime you're doing any type of waste line replacement, you always want to remove all of the debris and haul it away. There's no sense in leaving any trash uh, in the crawl space. Look at this other thing that I found. That Y does not even have any fall. It's almost going backwards. That's crazy. See that right there? If I put a level to that, it's actually going this way when it actually should be flowing this way. See that right there, not even strapped. Now, plumbers working underneath their house, you need to let them provide you photos and documentation of all their work after they're done. Because homeowners are trusting plumbers and contractors underneath their home. Yeah, look at this right here, guys. Instead of putting the appropriate materials, they used the old metal strapping. Let's go ahead and go to that front. Uh, crawl space. Okay. And uh, let's check that out. Oh man, this is this is tight, guys. Here's that. Here's that bathroom. Look at that right there. That's crazy. That is crazy. Who would plumb that like that? The shower should be two inch. It's inch and a half. They plumbed it in like a tub. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, I'm going back out. I'm going to run the, uh, we're still going to run the smoke because plumbing like that, who knows what they did inside the wall in the venting system. That was tight. I always get worried too with, with earthquakes. You never know in those tight areas, your mind starts to think like, oh my God, what if there was an earthquake right now? So that's the uh, that's the scary part of going underneath crawl spaces. All right, here's that shower, guys. So we're going to remove this top here. I'm going to insert a camera in there and see um, what it looks like. All right, so we have the mini camera. And I see what you're saying, Chris. That uh, yeah, if you look down here, this is no way we're going to get down that uh, down that. Uh, This is 
suspect area. So um, let's head up to the roof. Uh, one should be ready for the smoke. Uh, I doubt we're going to get any smoke coming through here, but um, you never know. I'm, I really want to check all of these dents because if they're plumbing in like that, you never know what they did in a wall. So uh, this is going to be interesting. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and run the smoke. So we got one, two, three. We're going to take the tape off there because we're not ready yet. We're going to, you always want to have the, when the smoke comes out, that's when you want to tape up. Um, but we did that so we can trap any sewer gases and then we're going to do a sniffing test to see if there's any uh, trapped sewer gas. I'm going to do that right now. All right, so as soon as we get smoke coming out of these vents, there, there we go. go. That's a good sign. Yeah, because she doesn't have any clean out, so it makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, but this is a good sign right here. We want to close that up now. All right, I think we have, we're on to something right now. This exhaust fan could be tied in to the venting system. Now the problem here, guys, is that we get a lot of calls where you see how they don't have a vent, co a vent cap? Well, a lot of times if there's sewer gases, because these vents are so close, when they're kicking on their fan, their exhaust fan, inside the house, the sewer gases could be traveling and then you know obviously going inside here as well so um obviously when the when the fan is on it's going to be pushing out but there are times where sewer gases can cross contaminate from a roof vent. we get we get a lot of this through like hvac systems so we're going to run a camera down this right here this is uh this is getting interesting I'm having a hard time getting around that corner it's like a sharp bend I guarantee you it wasn't a licensed plumber that plumbed this bathroom. It was probably a, a general contractor. Definitely wasn't permitted. Definitely something there. Anyways, we're going to get the uh, inspection mirror. See if I can shift down there because it's what it's doing is it's, it's dropping and then it's a, a sharp 90. So this whole, the way this guy plumbed everything, he really believed in drop and then sharp 90s and you should be able to get right into the uh, exhaust fan right there all right so we have this uh, inspection mirror i use it a lot for um for like rodents and things like that so this is awesome um, so i'm going to go ahead and insert it inside there and then chris if you could flash the light right on the mirror and that way we, we can see something that looks like it's connected um you know what chris let's get uh Let's get the uh, six foot ladder and uh, let's, let's drop that fan. Go ahead and move this here. One test you guys can do, take a piece of uh, toilet paper, fan is on. Well, that's better. Yeah, so this side here. Look at that. This. Yeah, very, this not good. All right, we're gonna cover this drain. Um, and stuff it with uh, maybe just some toilet paper and then uh, put tape over it. And I'll check with her in a few days. Close this off here. And Report back to her in a few days and see if it's if it's lessened. Big, big, big find, guys. Process of elimination. So hopefully, all that's required is just to get this done. Hopefully, we can. There's no additional work that needs to happen inside this vent here. But once we open this up, we can fish a camera if we can up into the vent and kind of evaluate that further from from the crawl space we could instead of opening up the tile because she was like not wanting to open up the tile at all so we could open up and expose the venting as a worst case scenario right here uh, if we need to but we're going to go ahead and provide a quote to replace and correct all of that p-trap underneath and then uh, if we have to get into the wall uh, this would be a great area right here. All right, we're going to start wrapping up our tools and uh, awesome day. It was successful. So this bathroom uh, with the tape, 
is uh, completely better. So we definitely narrowed it down to that improper uh, plumbing. So we're gonna go down to the crawl space right now and get that fixed. Got the uh, two inch P-trap. We've got a two inch sand T. So we're gonna be installing these underneath right now, connecting, uh, cutting all that inch and a half out and uh, installing all new two inch ABS. So um, let's go down and get dirty and knock this job out. got our two inch p-trap and we tie back into this right here so that's the proper way to plumb in a shower so that's all brand new now so again when you're uh, when you're doing a bathroom remodel make sure you get inspections it'll really really protect you you don't have to go through all of this a homeowner that's trusting a contractor should never have to pay double you just pay once and uh, it should be done right the first time so we got all that done so now I'm gonna go run the shower while uh, our guy Richard is underneath just make sure we don't have any more leaks so uh, I'm gonna go into the shower right now okay if you remember we never saw any water in the in the drain so here you can see we're holding water so that's a good sign the smell is better right yeah oh yeah 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 one of the things too oh with the exhaust fan one of the exhaust fans oops, is I'll show you here. I'll do a quick little test. I'll show you. Do it now? Yeah, go ahead. So this, see how you have good suction there? Yeah. That's what you want, right? But if you come over here, that's good there. Hold on, maybe he was running the... Yeah, oh, that, see how that's not... So this fan right here, inside, there's a lot of compaction. I pulled this down and this is pretty compacted in there. Compacted meaning it's Me really congested? There's like, no, there's exactly, it's not pulling everything out. Okay. So something to consider too on a replacement of that. I recommend like a Panasonic Whisper. They make really, really good fans. Okay. And, and so as soon as we installed that pipe, you saw a difference with that? Yeah, I did. I did. Perfect. Because you could, st I don't know, you went in, you came yeah, in Yeah, I could right? smell a little bit. You yeah, when I came in. A little bit. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. Solved another problem here. You could tell that uh, Jeannie is extremely happy with, uh, with the odor. So she knew right away, as soon as we cut that pipe out and cleaned the inner walls of that shower drain, big difference. So they're, they're very, very happy. All right, guys, well, leave your comments down below. Love to hear um, what you have to say. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.